All right. I just developed this here in my shed, and for most of you know that I spend countless hours trying to invent different things, but my mother-in-law was a big Harley rider. She rode actually everything, Nortons, Harleys, you name it. She was a rider. It wasn't about what model, what make. It was about riding. And you know a lot of you out there, of course, are Harley fans, but this is definitely not a Harley. But I gotta tell you and break it to you that this is one of a kind witch's broom. It exceeds a Mach 2. My mother-in-law said it's dried smooth like glass. I guess it reaches an altitude of 10,000 feet is all. I was kind of disappointed with that. I'm going to start it up here in just a second here. I just I gotta go ahead and get around here and push this button just to start it up. These are the turbines right here. One on each side. Dual. And down here is the blower. Right here is the blower. It comes out. It spins the broom. The broom rotates when it hits the Mach 2. She's gone. Anyhow, I'm going to start it up here. Hold on. i got to reach underneath here and start it up. Hold on. All right. Okay. Got her going. Starting up. Got light. to show you this year. Pretty proud of it. It's kind of loud in here, but I'm trying to turn it down here on the camera so it ain't so loud. Got a Harley Davidson backrest. It's getting a little louder. It's only a one-seater. Got the grip right here in front to hold on to. My mother-in-law said it's smooth as glass. Just show you the underside of it. It's going to be running out of fuel pretty soon here. The fuel is in the rod. It had to be just a little bit longer than six feet. Just to hold enough to ride. Probably about 18 miles is all I get out of it. Nautical miles. That's it. I'm sorry. 